This program should only be used with the permission of your medical doctor and does not replace any medical treatment you are undergoing. It may be used as often as you like because your hypnosis is a totally natural state and carries no side effects. However, having said that, please do not listen to this MP3 whilst driving or operating machinery. If you follow my simple instructions, no power on earth can keep you from being hypnotized if you want to. So if you are ready to experience hypnosis, you need to get as comfortable as possible in a place where you will not be disturbed. Now with your permission, please make a fist. Make it as tight as you can, even tighter. Now relax that hand, let it hang limping loosely and totally relaxed, till it is like a wet dishcloth. That is how relaxed you must allow yourself to become, both physically and mentally, to experience the full effects of hypnosis. Take a deep breath, and as you let it out, allow your whole body to become like a wet dishcloth, limp, loose, and relaxed. Now picture, visualize, and imagine in your mind's eye, yourself sitting where you are, as another person in the same room would see you. Picture, visualize, and imagine that image of yourself relaxing every muscle in their body. Now picture that image you have of yourself relaxing their eyes even more. Picture, visualize, and imagine them relaxing their eyes so much that now when they try to open their eyes, they are so relaxed their eyes aren't going to open. See them trying to open their eyes and the more they try, the more their eyes are totally, totally relaxed. I'd like you to take your attention out to your own eyelids and the area around your eyes. You can relax your eyelids so much that they just won't work. Notice the increasing reluctance in your eyes to open as you let your eyelids get heavier and heavier. When you have relaxed them to the point where they just don't care to work, hold on to this relaxation. When you are sure that you have relaxed them to a point where they just don't care to work, test them and you'll find that they don't just don't care to open. Good. Stop testing and go relax even deeper. When you tested them, you probably found that there was movement in your face, that your eyebrows came up but your eyes didn't care to open. Because you were holding on to their relaxation, they closed down even tighter. It's easy to do. This is the tiniest muscle group in your body and it's a wonderful experience to realize just how much control you have over them. Now with a deep breath, send that feeling of relaxation down through your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. That's right. Now take a few moments to focus on the top of your head. Notice how it feels and what sensations you have. Allow your attention to drift down your, to your neck. Notice how a little bit more relaxation can drift in with each breath and how the muscles can soften as you allow your attention to flow through each part of your body and as you now focus on the tops of your arms and I wonder which arm the relaxation will spread down first the right arm or the left arm and as that relaxation continues to flow down the arms you can notice that each breath draws in something new and expels what your mind and body doesn't need as you focus on those hands, focusing on what they are resting on, noticing which hand is the heaviest and which is the lightest, being aware of different sensations and feelings as you allow the wave of relaxation to spread down your chest towards your stomach, like a healing light cleansing your mind and body, filling your heart and lungs, helping that healing light to spread around your whole body and mind. Let that relaxation flows down into your stomach. That's right. Relaxing deeper and deeper and more fully as a body while the mind becomes comfortably focused as you allow your attention to drift down into the legs. And I wonder which leg the relaxation will spread fastest into. And as that relaxation drifts all the way down into the feet, I wonder and you can be curious how the mind will follow once the body is fully relaxed 
And now as you begin to get a sense of entering into your mind and flowing gently around the body, checking that each muscle is comfortably relaxed, have a sense of drifting through the head, down into the shoulders, and down into the neck. And now as I remain quiet for a few moments, you can take as long as you need to drift through the body, filling the body with the healing light. And when I start talking again, you will have finished, and you can get a sense of being in the most wonderfully comfortable place. As you drift through the body, now. That's right. Finding your comfortable place, feeling so comfortable, as you now have a sense of wanting to drift off deeply asleep into a dream and have a sense of closing your eyes while you become absorbed in that dream. And from now on, the deeper you go, the better you will feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you will go. Let every breath, every heartbeat and every word that I speak take you deeper and deeper and deeper. And you will find every suggestion I will make will become a sign and a seal for you to change any habits you want to. For others that will be more appealing and satisfying to you. All you need to do is follow my instructions exactly and let whatever happens, happen. Don't make anything happen. Just let whatever happens, happen. And you will have a great time. Many years people used to travel hundreds of miles to scoop stones out of streams and they would work hard to remove as many of those nuggets of gold as they could and they knew that all they had to do was work hard, remove the stones and they would be rewarded handsomely and the job was hard work but they kept the goal in sight, they knew that hard work was for their future. And you know a sculptor can take an ugly piece of rock and they will look at that rock and see the inner beauty and while they hold that inner beauty in mind they will begin chipping away removing all the unwanted stone and as stones fall off the sculpture begins to take shape until after lots of hard work and sweat a beautiful work of art is created and you can take some time now to really fully and honestly integrate all that is relevant to making the necessary changes. I'm going to give you a little while to just think this all through in your subconscious. And when you exit trance, you can bring back a strong sense of never again and drift back to the you set here with me now reintegrating fully and completely into the year and now. That's it. And as you think about what life will be like in the future, now, when that old problem is gone, explore what that is like. And as you explore what that is like, I wonder what will be different. And you can notice those differences and notice what life is like without that old problem. And you can get a sense of what you do differently. What will someone else see if they are watching you? How do you feel? What is someone else here? And how do those changes affect other people in your life? And you can get a sense of being a long way off in the future, looking back and reminiscing on how you achieved success and overcame that old problem. And whether you had any brief relapses or just remained problem free. And while I go silent, you can take as long as you need to fully really and honestly explore how that change occurred. What led to you overcoming that old problem?
how long it took you to fully overcome that problem and whether there are, were any difficulties that you had to overcome on the road to success. And all those changes and all that is relevant can become a part of the instinctive part of you by the time I talk again. And you can also drift back from that future position at the same time as finishing all that is necessary to overcome that problem. That's right. And now as you gradually find your way back out of trance, you can take all the time you need to ensure all the work is completed fully and honestly. And only drift back out of trance at the rate and speed that all of the reprogramming updates. And when you have found your way back fully, all necessary changes will have happened on an instinctive level and allow you to open your eyes and come back to the room. Now was that not a wonderful relaxed state? You do feel good. You do feel wonderful. You do feel fine. And this good feeling of self-confidence, relaxation and ambition will be with you all the time. Every day will be better and better, and you will be better and better. Until tomorrow when we work through the second session, bring out your full potential that God has given you in your life.